submerged. I had a whopper flopper. Charles says, you guys hurry, he just said it. Right over here. This is where the big ones are. And that's where they have been. That's, and that's where they are. Of course, Charles also told me that fish won't hit on a chatterbait in this place too. Last mm -hmm. year. Right all the way to that corner. Yeah, that's what I was just fixing to do. Oh yeah, all kinds of little bait. There you go. <laughs> I got a little bitty guy. Oh boy, the first bass of the day. There's nothing to write home about. But some people would take an Instagram photo. We're not going to take that opportunity. First little man. Look how scrawny that fish is. Oh wow. yeah. That fish is mounting garbage. He needs some food. He was so happy to see that chatterbait show up. He just knew that was a good meal. Let him down, Charles. There we go. That's a better one. Oh, oh that's, that's a nice, nice one. one. Nice bass. Whoa, trolling motor. Under the boat. Stuck. Yep. Yep, stuck. Stuck on the boat. Let's go. Oh. That's a nice bass. Get over here. Nice to do, huh? Get in this boat. Whoa! That is a nice bass. Ooh, they got a, got a fat lip. Oh, it's jacked up. That's why I thought, man, that lip feels awful soft. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Back to back bass right there. We've already been here trying to topwater a little bit. I switched to a chatterbait. But this bass got a little sore on that lip. You don't want to kiss this one, could be the Corona. But anyway, welcome to the show. Buckle up and hang on. It's going to be a good one. I got Charles in the back. He's going through his baits, trying to figure out what he wants to use. What are you going to use today, Charles? Uh, I don't know. I got a little bit of everything. You heard it. All right. One last look representing uh, Average Joe's Fishing Club on Facebook. Check it out if you're not a member already. Only shirt I got and hat from Average Joe's. You already cut it up. Yep. <laughs> it's a medium. The sleeves do not fit right. Oh, yeah. Come on. That fish is not going to jump. Just swam off. Ooh, you smell that? That smells like success. It smells fishy right here. You keep up with that. I'm going to continue oh, to I try top I put the chatterbait on this big old rod. <laughs> this is actually a 610 uh, heavy. You guys had to be there. I'm letting Charles stay. If he catches a topwater fish, I'll go back to it. But I'm actually staying with this chatterbait. I just want to put it on my different rod. That. You now kind of hang out and see that see that uh, tree that's hanging off. It's broke down and hanging off. Yeah, right straight ahead. Yeah, we want to go there right. We go. There we go. Oh, that was a nice one. Not bad. Maybe I need a heavier rod. I don't know though. After all that rain, they may not be very hungry. Uh, one was scrawnier than heck, a little bit. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Oh, go. got one. I heard I'm on the, the yeah. That one. On the board. Oh! oh. Missed it. That's two we've missed. So that tells it was me. A quarter pounder with cheese. The bite is probably a We're going with that dude. Yeah, I like that dude. Does have a little bit bigger plopper tail. Oh, there's it. Oh, I got him. Charles got one. Nice one too. Maybe. That's nah, all right. Chunker. Yeah, it's chunk. It's got a chunk. It would. It hit it on the sit. Just setting. There we go. We're both officially on the board. The stink is out of the boat. Mine was a lot bigger though. Just saying. Oop, oop. And release. Camera's all cockeyed. No jump, Charles. That's because my finger was still in his mouth. Yeah, I know. That's what... Got that old lock jaw. There we go. Got a little closer. 
There we go, finally. In the boat. Uh. Oh. I'm gonna wreck all your stuff. Uh. There we go. Beautiful. Large. That's too white. He's not beautiful. Get out of here. We only like dark right, boys and girls. We're cheating. I come cut back to this place. We had lost a few fish. I'm kind of coming back, throwing a backup bait where I know we had a hit or two. Water is very not deep here. I start to say very deep, but it's only like eight foot deep right here. So you want the pro tip? What? When running the boat, you put the boat parallel to the shore, and that way everybody can fish instead of pointing it into where you hogged all the fishing, and you're the only guy that can fish. Well, see, here's a problem with that. This camera is facing this way, so I'll take <laughs> the camera. Even. Turn the camera sideways. <laughs> now I got a chesty on. Yeah. I didn't think about the camera. You are right. Well, I normally try to do is just run the boat like this, far enough out, and mm -hmm. keep moving. Then you stop and fish it. Oh, is that it? No, no. I think that's a piece of brush right down there. And that's not a pro tip. That's a courtesy tip. Pro tip is keep it just like I had it. Don't let the guy in back get any good spots. That's a pro's tip. Especially if you're buddy fishing, not your buddy, Especially but when his pair fishing. Better than yours, and you're like, nah, stay back there. Oh, there we go. I knew there was one over here. That is a good bass. Yeah, it is. Back up, baby. That's a really up. nice bass. Pro tip, don't let him touch, let your line touch the bottom of your boat. Especially the trolling motor props. Yeah, all that underneath there is sharp from being drug on ground and everywhere else. This is a nice bass that I need to catch. You guys have probably figured out from the Melbourne video, I don't like nets. Come here. He's not done yet. I'm trying to reach over my tackle boxes. That is a good chunk. That's a now really that one nice looks fat. Yeah. Mwah. It's smart. It knows where the food is. Woo! Now this, we'll wait. But it would be a lot bigger. Look how yeah. it's kind of sunk yeah. in the belly. Maybe this they are having trouble. They're not getting. I think it's just the weather. When it's that heat, they don't eat right. Yeah. And then we got rain, and All right, at first look at that. Feed. Just like la uh, yesterday's video, I put out that backup bait is the bait that works better than the actual bait you're using. We're gonna weigh this one. I'm gonna get a quick pick though. All right, zeroed out. We're just talking about the fact I don't really like weighing fish. You guys seem to all like the fish weights. So yeah, two fifteen. Really? 16 is 3, so I'd call this a 3-pounder. And if I caught this, which that's what I told you, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. Off camera, I told Charles probably yeah. about 3. I was guessing 3.5, three you guessed yeah. 3. And if it was filled out, it would be easily 3.5 probably pound bass. But I don't judge my fish by their weight or their size, really. I judge them by how much of a fight they put up. That's why I like using lighter rods not necessarily line but you know lighter rods kind of lightweight line but I'm, I'm not that two pound fisherman i'm just not gonna throw two pound line to catch some of these big bass let's see if old girl's gonna jump now at some point i may do that for paying fish and you know if we do those little streams and stuff go with like two or four pound test but six pound test is as small as i go that fish is not gonna jump look at her just swam off Oh, I don't care. I'll fish a nasty beat up well, reel. Know, but like, as long as it fishes good. Is that a bobber? There's a hit right at the boat. Nice. Now see that? I threw the rattle trap, I threw the worm, then a chatterbait and got a fish. 
That tell me he wasn't trying to eat that. Oh yeah, he wanted it. He's hungry. He was trying to eat that bait for sure. All right, spit it out. There you go. Nice bass. <laughs> 